Every year, businesses are looking to take technology and leverage it to make their businesses better for both their employees and customers. 2020 was an exceptional year with COVID-19 driving these efficiencies faster than ever. In this video, we're going to look at the top 10 challenges businesses face in technology in 2021. I'm Matt Grace, Managing Director of Flying Donkey. Let's get into it. Number one, data security. Data security has got to be the top challenge for businesses facing in 2021. With more interconnected systems than ever and data being more readily available to hackers, it's more important than ever to keep your data safe. There are multiple standards that govern data security. There are three that we generally look at, GDPR, ISO 2701 and SOC 2. Each of these standards are slightly different, but generally try to achieve the same outcome. And that is putting policies and procedures in place to keep your data and security safe. While none of these are generally specific to Australia, a lot of the key components are required in a number of Australian legislations. And I foresee in the coming years, these programs becoming more widely spread and more applied to business here in Australia. So it's worth getting ahead of the curve. Some of the key things we've covered here at Flying Donkey is an OAuth 2 upgrade on Xero. This is a good way to allow clients to know what data they're sharing and with whom. And this is gonna become more of an industry standard as we move forward in 2021. Number two, cloud computing. Now this shouldn't come as a surprise, but cloud computing has been around for many years. And it's becoming more and more prominent with COVID-19 with more and more employees working from home and businesses trying to leverage this technology to allow this to happen. With the main three players in the space being Microsoft with its Azure product, Google with its Google Cloud, and Amazon with AWS, these three big players will make sure that cloud computing is one of the top things to consider in 2021. We've covered how to migrate to Azure and it's worth reading up this if you are moving to Azure, but the key takeaways here are start small and try and migrate as is. At the same time, when you're starting to leverage multiple cloud systems and potentially having multiple systems in the cloud, it's also interesting to try and leverage these products together to try and make a clear outcome for your business, as these standalone silos can sometimes become a hindrance rather than a help when you're helping your business. Cloud Computing doesn't have its only benefit in allowing staff to work remotely, it also gives you flexibility in using more up-to-date tools. AI-based tools are far more readily available in all the cloud products, and we've covered AI here previously on one of our videos, talking through AI versus rules-based, and what's the best decision for your software when you're building it. It's key to keep in mind that migrating to the cloud gives a lot, load more flexibility and gives you plenty more options in how you want to address your pressing needs. That's why cloud computing is number two on this list. Number three, social media. Social media for businesses has been growing and growing over the last few years. And it's becoming now a mainstay of every business must be on. And it's always gonna be a challenge for businesses to maintain their presence, plus look at the data that's available on social media for them. We've seen companies leverage sites like Facebook and LinkedIn to an extreme advantage. And it's something you're gonna to have to keep an eye on in 2021, as things grow more and more and social media becomes more of a common place to do business. Number four, managing risk and governance. As technology becomes a more core part of your business and projects come in to change and move this business forward, it's important to know the risks that you're taking on, as well as the governance processes you're gonna be putting in place. At the same time, it's key to look at disaster recovery programs and whether you have a person or team who's looking after these in case of something happening. Whether this could be a natural disaster or something more sinister like a hacker, it's important to know what happens in case of a discovery so your technology systems don't let you down. And when delivering technology, there's always gonna be risks and governance required. I've previously discussed how project scope and project governance are very important in a project. You need to keep the scope well-defined and it's important to have a strong project governance in place. This boils down to clear communication and realistic goals and making sure you're letting the team deliver the project and technology change that you need in your business. Number five on the list is regulatory compliance. And this actually goes hand in hand with our number one piece, which was data security. A lot of regulatory compliance is coming in now to manage and monitor technology to make sure it's fit for purpose for its clients and that everyone in business in technology is doing the right thing. Some of the data security aspects I spoke about before is part of the compliance framework that is required to be implemented by companies using technology. If we have a quick look at GDPR for a second, one of the key parts of GDPR is the right to be forgotten. And that means if a customer doesn't want to be your client anymore, they have the right to have their data deleted. Now I know personally that in a lot of systems, the delete button does not exist. And this needs to be added to comply with this legislation. Simple things like this on their own don't sound too much, but across the board, these papers are hundreds, potentially thousands of pages long with so many things to comply to. It's important that you understand the risks and challenges you're going to get into with compliance and technology before you get into them. And it's going to be a key thing to watch in 2021 as this grows. We've also assisted a number of companies with ID verification of clients' data. And I've talked about the alien integration we've done with one of our clients. This is where we've used software and automation to try and enhance and simplify the workflow system, but also comply to the regulatory requirements of the client. Again, this is where technology is really going to play a key role. And that is trying to achieve the outcomes that government requires at a cost level that's actually achievable for the business to stay in profit. 
Number six challenge on our list is upgrading and keeping current with your technology. Unfortunately, technology does change at a rapid pace and you need to keep up with these things, not only just because of security, but also because your clients expect a better and better experience. I previously discussed in our high quality software video that over the 20 years, the expectations of customers of software has gone through the roof. This is because phones are now commonplace and the use of software is so mundane that everyone expects it to work in a similar way. It is important that your software is kept up to the latest versions for both security and usability. That's gonna be something you're gonna to have to keep working out over time and make sure that you comply with not only regulations, but what your clients are looking for from your business. The number seven challenge, and honestly, this could be high up the list, but resource management. Every business struggles with resource management. It's about having the right fit of people to the jobs available. And it's not only that, it's having the right skill set to achieve those things. So whether you're trying to run an internal help desk or whether you're trying to support an application you've developed, you need to make sure that you have just the right amount of staff and resources available at the times you need them. And this can be a challenge. I've talked about how to alleviate challenges such as sole developer dependencies, as well as how you resource up for the software development life cycle. It's key to understand at the end of the day that projects are delivered by people and you need to manage your resources effectively if you are gonna deliver technology projects. Number eight, infrastructure management. Infrastructure has been a changing landscape and as I mentioned before, it's now been moving to the cloud more and more. This has allowed clients more flexibility, but it's also made some more challenges. As the infrastructure becomes more complex, there's more resources and time required to manage these infrastructure and make sure they're up to date. This is not only for an uptime piece for your clients, also from a regulation perspective, to make sure that you're patching and keeping your security policies up to date. Number nine is fraud monitoring, and more widely, it's just monitoring in general. As technology is put into the wild and on the internet, it's more important than ever to make sure that the right people are using it for the right reasons, and no fraud is occurring on any of your systems. It's your response responsibility not only as a business owner, but as part of regulation to make sure that the processes that you're putting in place are not being abused by criminals or doing things unlawfully. There are plenty of resources available to out there to learn about fraud and fraud protection. But it's one of those things to monitor in 2021, with the ever-changing landscape of technology, fraud is un unfortunately gonna become more and more common. And finally, number 10 is business continuity and disaster planning. I touched on this one before, but I wanted to touch on it again. What you don't wanna do is leverage technology to its fullest and make your business highly reliant on technology and then disaster strike and your business falls to pieces. It's key to put in place what's gonna happen in the case of a disaster, as well as also doing dry runs on this technology. I know I harp on about it, but again, regulation always stipulates that these disaster recovery trial runs should happen, either a six monthly or annual basis. And there's good reason for this. So make sure that you're alert and ready in case of a disaster happens that you continue business without any issues. So to summarize this video, realistically, there's a lot of challenges heading for technology in 2021, and technology is becoming a more critical piece of every business in every industry. Just make sure when you are implementing technology, that you take care of these 10 items and you also put them on your list to check through when you're looking at it. We'll be touching more on these topics over the coming year and trying to give you a more in-depth dive into some of these topics to help you understand what's required for each of them and how to improve your technology within your business. If you are looking to leverage software or technology in your business, feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to assist.